I'm Kathy Casey, host of The Liquid Kitchen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Grand Marnier Salted Caramel. I'm gonna turn on my burner. I'm gonna add some sugar, and then I'm just gonna kinda move it out into the pan just to kind of smooth it out. And I have my heat on high. And this is gonna take a few seconds. We wanna start melting our sugar. Okay, so we're starting to get a little bit of browning around the edge. I'm just gonna kind of move the sugar into the middle. So once it starts to melt, you can kind of swirl it a little bit, moving it around in your pan. Push that towards the center. You just don't want to get the edges too dark. Give it a little swirl. I'm gonna give a little stir now. You really want to take it to like an amber color. And once it goes, it's gonna go quick. Just wanna melt all those bits in there. If you ever start to see crystals along the side of your pan, you can take a brush dipped in water and just kind of go around the edges to wipe it down. This inhibits any crystallization. You want to bring it to about 350 degrees. All right. I'm getting close. All right. Now, it can splatter up. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to add in my butter. And it's really going to go here. So you want to be careful. Now I'm going to add in my cream. Again, that's going to really bubble up. Be real careful at this point. You want to make sure that you use a spoon that's long enough. And then I'm going to add in my sea salt. Going to keep stirring. And I've turned off the heat. Just going to keep stirring that. And then now I'm going to add in my Grand Marnier. It's gonna splatter, so be careful. Don't ever stick your finger in this, no matter how good it looks. It's blazing hot. I've added my Grand Marnier, and then I'm gonna let this cool to room temp. And that's it. That is our Grand Marnier salted caramel. <laughs>